the exhaust manifolds have now been uh, dipped, basically they've been dipped in muriatic acid um, and left to soak for uh, about two days actually. Um, they've been taken out, given a bit of a wire brushing and they've been given a coat of uh, engine enamel. But as you can see, the mating faces here are still in relatively poor condition. There's, there's plenty of meat, as you were, there's plenty of um, uh, plenty of material in this in the wall thickness. There's no indication of any cracking anywhere inside. Um, the whole surface is, is fine. But if we look closely at the surface itself, you can see it's actually quite uneven. Uh, and I think that is one of the reasons why the gasket has failed, because basically um, the gasket's only, only so thick, you can only get rid of a certain amount of discrepancy between the two mating faces. I think water has leaked in between the two. Also, being very honest, um, the gasket that was replaced last time yeah, it was uh, fitted using um, basically a high alarm type sealant. Um, and I've subsequently found out that that's actually the wrong thing to do. The gaskets must be fitted dry. Um, so I've probably contributed towards the, um, the failing in the first place. So entirely my fault. All I'm going to do is put a, uh, a board with um, a fairly coarse grip paper on it. Uh, I'm simply going to just flatten off the surface, make sure it's nice and smooth without taking too much material off. That's just about 10 minutes worth of hand sanding with the uh, flat backboard and as you can see that's in much, much better condition already. Uh, just started on the second of the risers as well. I'll do the same thing with the manifolds and the manifold surface and eventually I'll also be doing the same thing with the cylinder head. Apologies for the noise, um, it's a bit windy here today. about 10 minutes of um, and then you can see there's still a little bit of a low spot just there and just there so a little bit more time needed on there also done the same with the uh, exhaust ports themselves so they've come up nicely and I'm going to give them a wipe over with a, a clean wipe in a minute Right, so the exhaust manifolds are that's done. We can do the same thing now with the uh, head gasket, oh sorry, the, the, do the same thing now with the head, cylinder heads. So this is the inlet surface, you see the corrosion is quite bad around here. I'm going to try and knock as much of that off as possible. I don't want to touch too much of the surface. The cylinder heads themselves, we've already had a, an initial clean, I'll get a bit more of a clean up later on today. Starting with the coarsest grade. It's going to start. 
gently taking off. Already you can see that's starting to come away. What I want to try and do is to get it to the point where even with the glove on I just can't feel anything there at all. It's, there's still quite a discernible ridge there. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes worth of polishing just using the, the coarsest of the steel wool and already, although this rust ring here is still visible I'm actually struggling to feel it even with the gloves on um, there's still a little bit just there so it just needs a little bit more in that area there but what you can see is that the original crosshatch pattern in the cylinder is still intact so I haven't damaged that so I don't need to re-hone it that's coming up right so just use a little bit of brake cleaner across the, uh, the pistons tops themselves piston crowns you can see I've brought it up really nicely. There's still a tiny little scar just there. It's not actually, I can't feel it. And likewise, back here, this is uh, piston seven, cylinder seven. You can see the mark, but you can't actually feel it. Which is good. So I'm going to do the um, basically the fingernail test. So take my gloves off and I'm actually going to close my eyes. So apologies if the camera goes all over the place. So what I'm just going to do is just run my finger and actually on the nail itself. And I can't actually feel anything at all. Over on the starboard side now, uh, this is the before. So the only one that's got a little bit of scarring is this one, which is cylinder eight. Um, cylinder four isn't too bad at all. So hopefully, a couple of minutes worth of, uh, of wire wall will do the trick. So I've given it a good cleaning with some brake cleaner and then leave that to dry overnight and then I'm going to come in here, um, take the water pump off, rotate the engine round by hand a couple of times and then give the bores another clean, um, vacuum them out with any, any other debris that's in there and then we can start putting it all back together.